I'm Fox 4's Akbar Bruziev, and we're here off McGregor Boulevard, just before the Sanibel Causeway. If you've been to Sanibel, you've driven past this sign behind me, and now we take a look at the renovations in this 700-acre retirement community after Ian. The damage from Hurricane Ian in Iona and McGregor is still clear for anyone who visits. Some spots are still without electricity. The storm also hit the Shell Point retirement community now more than a year into rebuilding. All the power is back, back on. In spurts, we're seeing some power outages, as anybody in this area of town is. And uh, FPNL is doing a good job getting the power back on, replacing transformers. With the power back on, something that may seem unusual for a retirement community, electric vehicle charging stations, with home leaders pointing to more demand, with now 18 charging stations here. There's, there's not a lot of charging stations in this area of town. And so for convenience, obviously, we've added them here on campus. They are uh, for our residents, our employees, and their guests. We also met Bruce Finley, who has lived here for more than 20 years and also drives an EV. About a dollar sixty cents for a gallon of gas. That would translate to numbers of miles driven for the cost of the electricity you put in versus going to a gas station. It's a little step, charging stations in a place where the power isn't all the way back on, but a step as Iona is not all the way out of the darkness from the historic hurricane. Reporting from Iona, Anvar Ruziev, Fox 4.